Yeah. It is Foundation Friday, October 23rd, 2020. Steve Cypress here in with yet another in our multi-part series on the classic, fantastic book, The Psychology of Winning by Dr. Dennis Waitley, The Ten Qualities of a Total Winner. And today we start on quality number five, positive self-expectancy. I was going to say expectation. Positive self-expectancy. So Dr. Waitley writes, every winner can be identified easily because of his or her positive self-expectancy. I guess I didn't have to turn the page there. Winners expect to win. They know that so-called luck is simply the intersection of preparation and awareness. They look at life as a very real game, but not the gamble. They expect to win for three key reasons. Number one, desire. They want to win. Number two, self-control. They know it is they who make it happen. And number three is preparation. They are prepared to win. They are ready. They have learned winning habits. If an individual is not prepared, he or she simply does not see or take advantage of a situation. I see that all the time in business. Amazing opportunities The people hem and haw and I don't know and I just ooh, ah, whatever, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Don't know a good opportunity when they see one. They're just not prepared and so they miss a lot of opportunities. Uh, winners seem to be lucky because their positive self-expectancy enables them to be better prepared for their opportunities. The single most outwardly identifiable, identifiable trait demonstrated by a winning human being is that of positive self-expectation, which is pure and simple optimism. The winner always expects the best outcomes. Doubters don't win. Winners don't doubt. Every individual tends to receive what he or she expects in the long run. Not every time, in the long run. You may or may not get what is coming to you, or you may or may not get what you deserve, but you will nearly always get what you expect. Losers generally expect such occurrences as the loss of a job, bankruptcy, a dull evening, bad service, failure, and even ill health. And Dr. Waitley goes on, he's a doctor after all, talk a lot about psychosomatic science. What is it called? Psychosomatic medicine. The study of the relationship between the mind and the body and how each affects the other. Scientists know that disease is not necessarily caused by germs. Everyone has germs, but only a few become ill. Instead, the cause of disease is closely linked with the way individuals react to life. The line between stressful life changes, expected anxiety, and health changes seems to be associated with the body's immune system. Situations which arouse fear and anxiety suppress many bodily functions and they suppress antibody production as well. Now we see that here in the U.S. as we're coming into the home stretch of this uh, uh, campaign season. It seems to always be campaign season with these politicians. They're always running for office and the campaigns go on for years, at least here in the U.S. incessantly. But our uh, presidential election, at least, is two weeks away, and it's, it's such a stark contrast. You can see it, just what Dr. Waitley's talking about here, between positive self-expectancy and negative self-expectancy. We got one candidate who exudes confident and positive self-expectancy. As you know, they talk about this virus going around. Oh, we're turning the corner. It's going away. The vaccine's coming soon. We got all kinds of things happening, going at warp speed, and. Uh, great companies are developing great uh, therapeutics and vaccines, and we're going to open back up. Things are going to get back up. They're going to be better than before, blah, blah, blah. And the other candidate exudes fear and anxiety and negativity like a total loser, which every other time he's run for president, he's lost dramatically. This one will be the most embarrassing of all, of course, because it's all all the same, same nonsense as went, went through four years ago where supposedly, oh, he's ahead, and that's all total BS. And the guy walks around and wears a mask when nobody's within 20 feet of him, exuding fear, uh, not to mention he wears a piece of cloth on his face, which all science has proven for all times does nothing to help either not spread the disease or not get the disease. Uh, in fact... 
Studies show that it actually helps spread the disease, wearing these cloth face coverings, because if somebody does sneeze or cough or whatever, or touches a surface and then touches the, the cloth on their face, they're actually, the, the, the virus stays in there, uh, goes right through the mask when they sneeze or cough, the droplets go through, but the virus stays there after the, uh, uh, what do they call it, the, uh, uh, whatever, after the uh, fluid goes away and evaporates, that's it. After it evaporates, the virus itself still left there on the mask. So then you bring it into your house, you put it down, or you touch it with your hand, or it gets into your face, you're carrying it around. I mean, he's, and the guy wears this cloth covering around all the time, and then he talks about, oh, the dark winter is coming, and oh, I, I wouldn't take the vaccine uh, if Trump says so, because it's not proven, and oop, ah, so we're still in trouble, and we might have to lock down again, and things are getting worse than ever, and a second wave is coming, and bah, bah, boo, bah, 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 boo, bah, bah. That's the choice. We have the choice between a winner and a loser, and you have the choice as well, like Dr. Waitley points out. You can go through life like a winner, successful business person, positive self-expectancy, always looking for the best or a total loser, career politician, always spreading fear and anxiety. Uh, the media, which is the same as, as the, the left-wing politicians, uh, love to spread all the fear, and people that love freedom and think properly, winners, looking at things positively, talk about positive future. We understand that there's a virus, there's always a virus, there's a virus, there's a flu, there's a cold, there's always things going around. Every time you hop in a car, you can die in a car crash. We understand that. We don't dwell on the negatives of it. The losers do. So we see that right here. We see this chapter, what Dr. Waitley is talking about, it extremely pronounced in the two choices we have in our presidential election here in the U.S. this year. We have the total winner, positive expectancy, and the total loser with the fear and anxiety and negative expectancy. Now, in your business, in your life, you decide which you want to be, which you want to bring in to your life, to your business, to your family, to your employees, to your friends, to your customers, clients, patients, members. You decide. It's up to you. As you can see, these two guys are at the top of the world in politics. So you can succeed either way. You decide. You want to succeed by being full of fear and anxiety and being a loser, or you want to succeed by being a total winner and enjoying your life. Your decision, choose wisely. That'll do it for Foundation Friday. Thanks for being here today. I will catch you back here tomorrow with some tips on making money with social media because it will be Social Media Saturday. Catch you then over and out. Bye-bye.